Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikla. In this video, I'm going to show you some awesome books that you're going to want to read for the spooky season. It's spooky, eerie books. So if you want to listen up and you love to read, continue watching. But before you do, like this video sometime throughout the video. So let's get started with this video. And I can wait so we can break up all the so the first book I have for you guys and tell you about is this one right here. It's called The Cellar by Natasha Preston. Here's the cover. This is what it looks like. I am currently reading this book right now as we speak. I'm only on chapter 11 at the moment, but I needed to tell you guys about this book, so let me tell you. Now, this book is so freaky. Right now, it's amazingly freaky, and I consider, like, everyone's nightmare. For literal months, Summer, the main girl in this book, is trapped in the cellar with the man who kidnapped her and three other girls that he kidnapped as well. This man calls all the girls that he kidnapped his family and his pure flowers. He has, like, this weird obsession of flowers. So each girl that he kidnapped is named after a flower. So there's Rose, Poppy, and already Violet down in the cellar. And when Summer got kidnapped, and it's not like I'm saying any spoilers because it's literally in the back of the book. So when Summer was kidnapped, she was automatically named Lily. Summer completed this man's pure set of flowers. Literally the first chapter, li see there we go, I'm calling her Lily. Literally the first chapter, she was kidnapped. And the rest of the book so far that I'm reading does not disappoint. There's so many twists, so many turns, so many wondering how these girls gonna survive, if these girls will survive, and will these girls be found? That is the main, main thing. This story is in the point of view of Summer and her boyfriend Lewis, who's trying to find her. But this author sneaks in some chapters of the man who kidnapped the girls. And those chapters those are really freaky to read and eerie to read, really. It's like eerie to get into this murderer's mind, but like, wow. But it makes you understand more of his story, but like, wow. This story is crazy, but amazing all at the same time. And I consider this definitely the right book to read for the spooky season. The last book that I'm going to recommend you guys to read is this one. It's called The Woman in the dark and it's by Vanessa Savage so love the cover I always like the cover it's a hardback book so let me tell you more about this book right here now this book right here is a very trippy book I haven't read it yet but the sleeve cover of what it's about gives off the trippy vibes so let me tell you more so there's a couple named Sarah and Patrick Sarah got depressed after her mother died and she overdosed on sleeping pills which is sad. So Patrick wanted to give his wife and his teenage kids a new fresh start. So Patrick convinced them to move to his old beachside house that he had with his family when he grew up. But now this beautiful beachside house that he grew up in is considered a murder house. But like always, Patrick is adamant about this house and adamant that he knows that it will be their dream home. Locals even say that this house is haunted. So here's some of the trippiness that comes along in this book. The teenage kids started having nightmares. Strange writings appear on the wall. And creepy gifts appear in front at the doorstep at odd hours throughout the day. And then to wrap it all together, the murderer who murdered the family within that house long time ago is going to be out on parole now. But Sarah can't shake that something isn't right. Like, I don't feel like something's right. And I haven't even read the book yet. So Sarah feels like there's something isn't right. She can't shake this feeling about this house, about living in this house. So the story sounds so interesting, so intriguing, and scary all packed in one. I really can't wait to read this one, but it's definitely a good book for you to read that I think just in time for the spooky season. So you guys, if you like these recommendation of books, spooky books, please leave a like down below. And if you liked some more of these book recommendations, go down below and give this video a like. I really, really would appreciate that, guys. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this lovely video, but I'll catch you back next time. Bye.